Hi there, Aunt Summer here. And today we're gonna to focus on the holidays by making some cute little holiday cards. Check these out. How cute are these? Super simple, super fun. And you can make a bunch of these to give away as gifts for Christmas and people will love them, I promise. So today you're just gonna need your usual supplies. Um, also bring those water the watercolor markers or your um, washable markers with you. We'll be using those and as a uh, something a little extra special, Grab some really simple cookie cutters, okay? So go get your supplies and come on back and let's make some really cute little holiday cards. Okay, go get your stuff. Okay, so we have our stuff and um, I'm gonna show you how I typically paint. I'm gonna show you a couple of different things I normally don't show you. Um, so these are our cards that we're gonna use as reference. We're gonna set those to the side like we set all of our references to the side. Now. The one thing that's a little bit different is how I set up my paintings. I have, let me move my paper out of the way. I have this old plastic frame with the glass in it that I don't take out that I personally like to tape my art to because I like to make the colors flow, um, get it really wet, things like that. So if you have a piece of cardboard um, especially with boxes laying around because um, of the holidays. If you have a piece of cardboard, that works too. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I do mine. Also, um, if I was going to make holiday cards, I would have a bunch lined up on here. And then I would work on probably, I don't know, four to six cards at one time. Um, but today we're just going to do two. We're going to do two bigger cards. See, they're a little bit bigger, but they're super, you know, they're a little bit bigger. Oops, and they're super cute. So um, you can cut this in half and you can make half size cards if you want. It's all up to you on how you'd like to do that. Um, I actually, I like the bigger cards. I think they look nicer in packages. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and get our tape and let's tape down our paper. You could tape it to your work surface, no problem. Tape it to a piece of cardboard so you can make the paints flow, also not a problem. Or if you happen to have an old crummy frame that your, your adults don't care that it's going to get all wet, covered in paint and gross. Like I just recently cleaned mine and it still has like paint speckles all over it. So let's just make sure everybody's cool with that so I'm just gonna tape the top and the bottom so remember just we're gonna tape just a little bit of that edge we're not gonna oops I taped a little too much of that edge Here, I'm gonna flip this around so I can see it better all right so we're gonna tape the edge oops. see my tape bent and this happens and that's okay flip it around to where you don't have a bent side. Okay, and tape my edge. Now we're gonna run a piece of tape right down the middle. Here we go. If you wanna tape the sides, you can. It's completely up to you. But I was just gonna make a top and bottom border. Okay, so I tape in the middle. I made this side just slightly bigger. What I mean slightly bigger is barely noticeable because we're gonna tape up our tree over here. And let me show you how to do that. Super easy, we're gonna make a triangle. <clears throat> we're gonna make an isosceles triangle, which means we have two long sides. So my tape's a little bit long because I don't want my tape to come over here. This is where I'm gonna do my Christmas ornaments or holiday ornaments. <clears throat> and over here I'm gonna do my tree. So let's pick this side here. And about the same length of tape, kind of eyeball it a little bit. And then it's okay if it runs off over here because it's not that big a whoop. All right, line that up here. And then we're gonna go right across the bottom. But you already knew that because you're so smart. And then we're gonna go across the bottom here. And that is going to be our Christmas tree right there. Okay, so this this painting is cool 
because we're gonna be working on two paintings in one. So we're gonna go back and forth. Okay, so we got our tree taped off. We got this, excellent. So now let's go ahead and pick our ornaments. I typically use the inner ring here. That's how I got these guys here. I use the inner ring, see, fits real good. So I wanna do one ball. So I'm gonna use the inner ring and then I want to do one shape. I think I'm gonna do a little star, like right up here. Little Christmas hangy bobs. All right, so let's go ahead, get a color pencil. I'm using a watercolor pencil and let's just draw out our shapes. See, like that in a gentle color. Let me zoom in a little bit. I just gently drew it on there. I know you can barely see it. But anyway, I promise you it's there. I don't draw it very dark because I want it to be invisible when I paint it. Now this one, you have to be a little bit more careful and we're gonna go on the inside of our cookie cutters. Try to pick simple ones and not ones with too many designs or that complicated because they will be hard to trace and it'll be frustrating because you're not gonna get the correct shape and Da, 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 da. And I know you want to do snowflakes and fancy stuff, but I'm telling you, keeping it simple is kind of cool too. All right, so I did that and I did the inside of my star. Can you see that? Yeah, I know it's really hard to see, but see that I did the inside of my star. Okay, cool. So we're going to start on this side first with our little hang bobs and doodads and whatnots. So you can do this a couple of different ways. <clears throat> You can <clears throat> start directly, um, you can do one of two ways. You can either directly paint the insides of these and then do the outside or do the outside then go in. I personally, I like to do the outside and then go in, okay? Um, that way, if anything gets on the insides of these, we can use our rags and a little bit of water to clean them out, okay? Also another key tip or pro tip, um, you can select what colors you want these and use your markers, uh, use your markers and then outline the shape. So let me do that with, um, with the star here. Now, um, I don't know, I don't want a yellow star. I want a different color star because I don't know, that's what I'm feeling today. So I think I'm gonna go with like a pink star today, like this, I'm gonna use this light pink color. So I'm gonna take this outline I made and just easily go around the edge with these water, you can either get watercolor markers or waterproof markers. All right, and just kind of go around the edge to give me my shape of where my star is gonna be. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm just showing you different ways of doing it. Cause the cool part with that is like I showed you before, if we use our little, if we use our round brush that we're gonna be using to paint around the outside, we can go ahead and wet that. So like we always do with our water, go ahead, get it wet, drain some on the outside there. Okay, and then we can color around the edge here, like that. And then we'll kind of get an outline. And it's just like coloring, but with water, you stain in the lines, right? Cool. So with that being said, we are going to, you can finish going around this with the water. So let's just finish going around these edges with the water. So we leave that center dry. Okay. Alrighty. Awesome. So with a flat brush, let me get my flat brush. I was using it on a different project, so I have to dig it out here. Give me a second. All right, so with my flat brush, I'm gonna go ahead and get that wet. And I'm just going to do my invisible painting all the way around my ornament. So we're just gonna get this nice and wet, okay? So we're just gonna do the visible painting and get it wet. So remember, when you get your water, just squeeze some of it out. We don't want our paper too wet, because that paper will buckle, 
which is fine and we can always just fix it with a blow dryer which we have one of those on the handy right so but we want to keep it so it's not too wet okay all right so we did a nice quick it's called a wash we did a nice quick water wash around our two ornament shapes okay that star's kind of cool it has a little glow looking to it all right <clears throat> so now we can pick whatever background color you want i personally want to make them look like they're hanging on a tree so i'm going to go ahead and use my still my flat brush because we're going to do water washes i'm going to pick a lighter green so either this green or this green here so i'm just going to go with this one here oops i'm sorry i should have showed you this green or this green i'm going to pick this green here kind of dibble dabble a little bit and put it on there okay so this is i'm going to show you the reason why I don't like to attach my paper directly to the table is because I like to do stuff like this, where I tilt it and pull the colors and let the colors do this really cool runny thing. So they kind of blend. But anyway, that's me. You can do it however you like. This is your art. your art, your world. If you want to have a blue background, go for it. You want to have like electric orange, go for it. Show me what your holiday would look like. Okay. And so we'll just paint it, get a little bit more water here. And grab some more of that green color. We're just using light green. We're not putting any new colors in it yet. Go around the edge real easy. Oh, my motorcycle neighbors are driving by. Everybody say hi. Hi, motorcycle neighbors. Okay, so there we go. So we have that on there. So let's go ahead and get our brush wet. And you don't really have to rinse it because we are gonna stay with the greens. We're gonna go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go with this darker tealy green right here. Okay, that's a little too wet. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dab my brush here. So I'm gonna use that tealy green here and just kinda just dab it around. No brush strokes, just kind of patting it in there with my brush. See, gives it texture, moves the pigment around, and then, oop, looks like my little pan dried out a little bit. Okay, it's still a little too wet. Okay, dab it off. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just kind of blot it in there. Like that. Pull carefully around the edges. Try not to get inside. All right, cool. Check that out. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming right along. It's looking pretty awesome. All right, so our next thing is, is we are going to use a smaller, smaller is a key term, round brush. Where did that guy go? Oh, I used him on my other project too. Give me one second. All right, so I'm going to use my, hmm, I guess I didn't have a next size down. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna use my small round brush. I'm gonna get it wet. And this time I'm gonna pick a darker, I'm gonna com combine this light green here. Oops, hang on, I'll show you. I'm gonna take this light green that we used initially, I'm gonna use that dark green that's sitting right next to it. I'm gonna mix those two together. And I'm just gonna kinda make streaks like this. Kinda look like pine needles, sort of. Like that. 
mix the two. Kind of put those streaks all throughout our little painting here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do when we're done. If you need time, if I'm going too fast, just pause, go over it, and then come back. All right, so we got the dark pine needles there, and I'll wait a second for you to catch up. All right, now that you have that done, grab your flat brush, just go into some clean water, or the green water, it doesn't matter. Okay, so go in the, I'm gonna use the green water. So go into my green water, squeeze out some of the edges here, all right, and we're going to just gently swipe over it. Just gently kind of just trace over everything. Try to go in the direction of your pine needles. You can do this with any color. So if you're gonna do blue, just use all different shades of blue. If you're gonna do orange, use all different shades of orange. Whatever color you use. When you use purple, use all different shades of purple. And see, we gave ourselves some texture there. And we got it all wet again, which is exactly what we wanted because we're going to use that bigger round brush that we used earlier Get that a little wet. We are gonna go back into that dark green here, right here like this, and we're gonna go around the bottoms of our ornaments here. It gives it gives shadow. If you want it to give shadow. Now you see I got a little flicks inside there. Don't worry, you take your rag. See, oops, you see where I got the little flicks of paint in there? You just take your rag and dab them out. Don't rub, just dab, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do both sides. We're just going to take that dark and just kind of gently rub it into the bottom here. Give a little shadow. Give a little shadow. And then go through and maybe while it's still wet. Add a few little more streaks in here. Longer streaks, maybe. Light, just lightly add in that darker color. Awesome. Cool. And that looks super cool. Maybe put a couple more dark ones down here. All right, awesome sauce. So we're gonna leave this side hang out for a bit. We'll come back to it later. Now we're gonna go over here to our tree. All right, tree is gonna be super fun. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to invisibly paint the inside of our tree. Here, let me move it over just a little bit. There we go. We're gonna invisibly paint the inside of our tree. Okay, cool. That's done. And just like before, we're going to use our light green. So I'm going to go with this guy here. Get him really watery, but not too watery. It's soupy. We just kind of want it a little drippy. We're just going to come in here and we're just going to paint it all in. I got a little splatter over here. I'm just going to... Alright. Grab it. All right, cool. All right, tree's done. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're gonna grab the next color up. I'm gonna get that nice and wet. Okay, so this is what I did last time and I thought it turned out cool. So I took it and I tipped it like this and just kind of blotted it to kind of let it run down. And then I would grab some more paint as I needed it. 
just kind of let it run down like that. Okay. Awesome. We'll do a little bit here at the bottom. Blot it. You're just blotting it on there. Just blotting it. No streaks. Just blot. All right, cool. Now comes the fun part. All right, so I promised the fun part. So I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Okay, now I'm gonna pick what color I want my lights on my tree. So I'm gonna go with yellow, that's pretty traditional. And get that wet, and then I'm just gonna do drops. And they're gonna expand, let me see if I can zoom in on that. And they're gonna expand on your tree. Just let them go, don't touch them. just went through my whole tree and put some yellow okay I'm gonna rinse my brush out squeeze a little bit of that water out and then let's see um, I'm gonna go with uh, blue so I'm gonna pick like this blue color here and I'm gonna give myself some little blue Boop. some blue light All right, cool. I'm gonna pick another color. I think I'm gonna go with like this pinky color here. This pinky color here, do you see that? All right, so we're gonna... Oh wow, that's some nice contrast. And if they spread out, it's okay. We will be working with that in a little bit. And then I think that's all the colors I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that like blue color, the yellow color, in the pinkish color all right so while we let that dry we're gonna go back to our other side so let me zoom out a little bit so we're gonna go back over here to our ornaments now this is where we have to make the big decision what color are our ornaments gonna be <laughs> to me that's the hardest decision for real all right so I said I wanted to do the star like a pink color so I'm going to rinse out my brush grabs a little bit of water and I'm gonna select a light rosy pink so I'm gonna go with this light rosy pink here we always start lighter and then we work our way darker so I'm just going to color the inside of my ornament This color here. It's rose she pinky color. Okay. Alrighty. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. And while that dries for a second, what color are we gonna do this guy down here? Um, hmm. I'm thinking we should do, uh, I, did an, I did that one purple and it turned out really cool. And the blue did too. Hmm, I say let's do a blue. Yeah, let's do a blue. So I'm gonna select a lighter blue like this color here. I'm gonna select this lighter blue here. And what's cool about this, you can make these ornaments any color you want. You make them your favorite color. If you're painting them for a family member, you can make them your family member's favorite color. Like if I were to, um, if I if I were to paint them for uh, Uncle Dennis, I would probably paint them like one would be blue and the other one would be like I don't know what is like a I don't know maybe gray or red, maybe a little bit of gray and red stuff like that yeah so we go ahead and fill that in with the blue Zoom a little bit so I filled that in with the blue all right now that I filled in with the blue I'm gonna rinse off my brush I'm gonna go back to this pink color that I used before and I'm going to darken up my star a little bit here. So pick a side and then just kind of darken that side. Just gently brush it in there. 
and just kind of leave the top part a little light because that's kind of like where maybe the light is shining from from the you know like a light behind it or something okay so we're gonna leave that like that okay cool now we're gonna go back to the blue one again same thing with the blue we're gonna keep like the dark because we want the we're gonna go with where our light source is we're gonna thing our light source is like this way so we're gonna keep it dark like down here so let's go ahead <clears throat> grab that light blue again and just kind of color in down here just kind of And then we're going to rinse that out and just grab a little bit of water on our brush. Make sure you rinse your brush out. Just kind of go over that edge to soften it a little bit. And this is just all water. Move that color around a little bit. Cool. Alrighty. So while we let this dry here for a minute, let me see I got a little run here. I just noticed that. That's why we keep our little... Our little Rags handy dandy. I'm just gonna blot that out very gently, just blot, blot, blot. That's it. Now, if you're worried about it, this is where you could use the blow dryer and blow dry this. But since we're going back and forth, I'm going to just let it dry naturally. So let's go over here to our tree. Okay, so we see like all the spread out of the tree. It looks really very cool. We're killing it over here. So <clears throat> with that being said, we are going to take a dark green. So we're gonna go back to that dark green that we used earlier, right here. And we're gonna start at the top and we're just going to kind of paint around the colors. You see where I'm doing? Just kind of painting around where I put my little lights and baubles. I don't know what you wanna call them. They could be ornaments, they could be lights. Maybe whatever you want. So I'm just going to just bring that color all the way down. Started dark at the top, cause that's how I wanted it. And just kind of let the paint run down as I get to the bottom. Now, if you want, you can be dark at the bottom. You can have the tree darker all the way through. It is completely up to you, but I'm just gently touching and just filling in around the color dots. That's all I'm doing, filling in around the color dots. All right, I think it needs a little bit more green, so I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit. I'm going to grab that darker green there. I'm just gonna fill in around here. Now you can also, if you're on a portable surface, this is where you can like tilt it around a little bit, move the colors where you want it to go, kind of make it be drippy, free flowing, you know, I'm tilting it all kinds of ways, guiding that paint as I go. But once again, it is completely up to you on how you like to do that. I like to do it this way. I think it gives it a really cool feel to it. As I like to say, it gives it an organic feel. <laughs> I get laughed at for saying stuff like that, but whatever. It's my art, I do what I want. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that darker, maybe just a little touch over here. All right, cool. All right, we colored it in darker all around there. Cool, so we're gonna let that naturally dry and we're gonna shift back over here to our ornaments. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna use my rag and dry out my brush a little bit. My brush is getting a little wet. And I have a couple, I have a couple little strands coming out, so I wanna get those too before they end up in my painting. Okay, got those. Okay, so now that we have this 
we can start thinking about designs that we want to put on these. Um, simple things could be like with this, we can do like stripes and stuff. That's easy. Um, so let's think about what you want to do. Now for me, I just kind of want to keep the star a little simple. So I'm going to focus on that one first. So let me go ahead. All right, so let's focus on the star a little bit. I'm gonna use that darker mauve color right here. It's right here, it's right above it, the lighter color we used. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in around the bottom here. Just fill it in. And then just kind of pull the paint up into the star. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of filled it in and I'm just pulling the paint into the star. Like that. Just push it around a little bit. It'll fill in as it dries. Now I see this here. We're going to go ahead and wet our brush. So we're just going to use just clean water. Make sure you squeeze up all the extra water. We're going to use just clean water and do the edges. And then we're going to tilt it just a little bit, or at least I'm going to tilt it just a little bit, just to let it run. Maybe move it back a little bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I just tilted it back and forth a little bit. Now, see that's running over here. Once again, I'm just gonna blot it and then we'll fix it. No big deal, no problem. That's an easy fix. So I'm just gonna take my brush, I wetted it, and I'm gonna completely dry it off. I'm just gonna move some of that pigment around to... I'm gonna just go ahead and grab it right off the... There we go. See, it looks like a hot mess, but we'll get to it, I promise. We will fix it. All right, cool. We're gonna let that dry so we can come back and work on our mistake and things like that. So let's look at the blue one. Let's focus on this blue one here. Now, this is where your markers come into play. You can use your markers. Let's see, like this color. We can use our markers, we could draw on it. Um, so, or you could draw using your, um, you draw using your um, brushes. So I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna do swirlies on this one. So I'm just gonna come from the bottom and do a swirl like this. A swirl like this. And then make it look like it's coming from the other side here. And swirl like that. Oh, that's a not a nice looking swirl, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. So you can do that, <clears throat> which I think looks super cool, or you can do it using your brush. So use a really tiny round brush. I don't know how small of a round brush you have. This is not my smallest because I, I do detail work and my personal work. So I have a really small brush. Let me find it and I'll show you. Like I use this guy in my personal work, right? He's really tiny um, and I can get him wet and then I can pick a paint. So I would pick, if you're gonna paint it on, pick a dark paint like this and then roll your brush in it to get a point like that. Do you see where I made that point? So just kind of swirl your brush to get it wet and then roll your brush to make like a, a point tip to it. And then that's where you can draw shapes like that, right? Swirl and roll. So if you have a thin fine point brush, you could do the same thing. Or if not, use a marker. No judgment here. Like that. 
So that's, you know, I'm going to give this guy swirly bobs and then and do a swirly bob down here. And kind of make it look like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do a swirly bob up here. Cool, there we go, we got swirly bobs. Now, put that little brush aside. These, um, by the way, these are like, um, hair brushes from that are from either Japan or China. I can't remember, but you can order them on Amazon as a pack, but I would recommend learning the easy guys first, but you know, whatever you still want stuff for Christmas and you need to make a list and you got to let Santa know. I mean, you'd be like, Hey, I want the brushes like aunt summer has from, you know, from Asia because they're cool and Aunt Summer's cool. So like I said, don't worry about this guy here because we're going to use that light blue one more time. We're going to use the next shade over, next shade darker, and we're just going to kind of give ourselves a little shadow down here at the bottom. So we're going to come across here and give ourselves shadow. Rinse out your brush. We're using the small round brush for this. You rinse out your brush. Just bring in water. That's it. And your uncle is super loud right now. So I'm just going to use water like that. Boom. And then I kind of like blurred this out by using the water, kind of blurred it. So I fixed my mistake, right? Cool. I'm going to use a little bit more of that. Oops. A little bit more of that darker blue. I'm just going to come down here. Do that bottom a little bit. I'm gonna tilt my thing because that's how I like to do it. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. So now we're gonna move over to our tree. Okay, so my family is loud for real, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take um, my brush and we're going to go over the tree. The tree should be dry. We're going to take a darker color here. So I'm going to use my dark color here. And I'm just going to start filling in my tree a little bit more, like different spots. But I'm just going to dab it in there, okay? And you're probably like, Aunt Summer, this is like too dark. But like, I know, it's okay, I promise. So we're just going to take this color and we're just going to gently rub it just like we did the other color, we're gonna go around our light sources. And you're like, Aunt Summer, how do I get my lights back? They're getting drowned in there. I know, hang on, <sighs> we're gonna get there. All right, so we're just going to kind of like use that dark green, try not to dabble in it too much because it is a little overpowering, but just get it wet and kind of drag it around. I'm going to show you what we're going to do in a second, and it's going to be super cool. Okay. All right, so grab it. Go around. And it's okay. You don't have to fill in all the spaces because I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Keep, keep reaching across here. Okay, grab some more water. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Remove this here. Yep, just kind of fill it in. Like that. All right, cool. Now that we have that, we're going to take, we're going to rinse that brush real good with just, just clean water and go over your color spots. And then make sure you rinse it and get all the extra water out and we're just going to go do the circles around your colors and don't worry if some of the colors rub off we're going to go back and revisit them in just a second so these are going to blend into the back of the tree see okay i made a giant water blob right there so we're just going to blot that 
and that's okay because I'll fix it here in just a second. Everything is totally fixable. You just gotta be flexible and be like willing to work with it. Alrighty, so I got that. So let's go back with the same small brush. Let's rinse it out. Let's go revisit our blots with the colors again. So let's get some yellow here and revisit our yellow blots. Just blop it right into the center. There you go. Now let's revisit our blue blots. So we use this color blue here. It's like a purpley blue color. And let's just revisit our blue blops. And then maybe add a couple. Okay. And then when we're done with that, let's go back to our pink blobs. Now, I think our pink blobs are a little too dark, so I'm gonna go with this red color. I'm gonna redo my pink blobs with this red color. There goes our big truck neighbor friend. Hello, big truck neighbor friend. And then we're gonna go ahead and just blop those onto the pink blobs. And look, it kinda like just brightens it up and it makes it look like little Christmas lights. Funsies. I'm just gonna kind of stick them in different spots too. Brighten up my tree a little bit. All right, how cool is that? Okay, so we are going to leave, rinse that brush out, set that to the side. We're gonna let the tree go. All right, let's come back over here and revisit our guys here because they are almost done ski. Okay, so let's use our small round brush again in this mistake here let's fix it and if you didn't make a mistake that's fine i'm just to show you how to fix mistakes if you make them because it happens to the best of us so i would just go through and re-outline like this bottom part here just so it matches and then just pull up all that paint and keep that area light remember it's okay if we darken this side and then it's kind of like block the edges a little bit I don't know yeah it's block the edges that is such a technical term all right I'm gonna rinse my brush <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out some of that excess water and then I'm just going to touch the edges here just like that to soften them and there we go that is my star so now that the stars are done let's go ahead and dark or well the star is done um let's go ahead and darken a little bit underneath here to give shadow and then we're going to call it a day so let's use our dark green and that little dark green there and then we'll mix them over here a little bit more of that dark green and I'm mixing it here in my pan. So I'm using this green here, a little touch of that green there. And I'm just gonna go and just kind of swipe it. Swipe it underneath. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go touch back and I'm gonna do that over here too. Just swipe it underneath into the side and just kind of let it go out of my dry brush. Rinse my brush. There we go. Rinse my brush, get some clean water, and then kind of just go over the edges. We don't want hard edges. Let's go over the edges. Yep. I'm taking it and just coloring it around. And then go over here and do the same thing. Just take off all the hardness just with that water. Go up to my ornament and kind of back and forth on my way out. Alrighty. 
Cool beans. We're gonna rinse that out. We're gonna get our flat brush again. Get that wet, squeeze out all the water on the side of the glass and just kind of come back and just do the bottom edges here. Go around a little bit. All right, cool. Now I added a little flare to mine when I was working on it last night and this is what I did. I got my got it I got my little round brush wet. I went into the colors that I was using. I got really soupy and I just gently gently did tippy taps. Now, if I got it on my ornament, I would just kind of blot it out with my finger. Okay? And just gently did tippy taps. That's it. And then I would rinse I would grab that blue color I was using here, that darker blue, and just gently do tippy taps. You don't have to do a lot. Just some gentle tippy taps. That's it. Makes it kind of look like Christmas lights. Alrighty. So we're going to let those dry and then we'll put strings on them. Now over here, let's go ahead and focus on finishing off our tree. All right, so this is the fun part. We get to peel the tape. Now our tree is still gonna be a little wet, okay? So don't touch the tree, or try your hardest not to touch the tree. Remember, when you peel the tape, peel it at an angle, like I'm doing right now, to keep from ripping your paper. Let's see. See, I did rip my paper just a little bit, but that's okay. Let me show you a trick. Take your finger and just rub the paper to flatten it back out. Cool. Same thing here, gently pull at an angle towards yourself. That's so satisfying. I love it. And then gently pull at an angle. Oh, so nice. Look at that tree. That tree is so colorful and cool and neat. Okay, so this should be, this part should be fairly easy for you. Once again, you could use a marker for this or you can paint it in. I'm gonna paint it in to show you how to do it, but I'm just gonna grab brown. I'm just gonna grab this brown right here. And I'm just gonna come down to the bottom. I'm gonna go up to the tree. And I'm just going to pull down like this. See what I'm doing? Just kind of make it jaggedy a little bit. That's cool. All right, cool, that's my tree. I didn't make it fancy or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm sorry, that's my stump on my tree. And that's what's holding my tree up. So now, now we're gonna do the star. And this one's like my favorite, but you have to flip your painting upside down when you do this. And I'll show you why. All right, let's zoom in on the star. So to do the top of the tree, rinse your brush out completely. Make sure there is no dark color left because we are gonna use some light colors, okay? So we're going to take the lightest yellow that you absolutely have on here. We're going to get that sucker wet. Woo. Now, right above the, don't touch the tree, right above the tree, we're going to draw a circle and just keep and then just kind of draw circle like that cool now we're gonna take the darkest yellow that you have so go ahead and grab some water rinse it a little bit grab the darkest yellow that you have and we're gonna plop it right in the middle bloop, bloop, bloop. that's it and then 
just let that dry a little bit. All right, cool. Just let that hang out, maybe blow air blow on it. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to take an orange color. So I like to use this rusty orange color and take that rusty orange color and with the tiniest little dot, let's put a little dot of that orange color right there in the center. And don't touch it. <laughs> you are done. That's the star. So this is what, well, it's upside down, but let me flip it around. So this is what your tree looks like. And that's super cool. All right, so let's go over here to these guys. So um, let me, I like to do it upside down on this one as well. Flip it upside down. Now this one's gonna require a black thin marker or you can paint it. I mean, I paint mine, but I think the marker, oops. I think the marker is the easiest way to go, to be honest. Um, so we'll do that. So just take your marker and go from the top of your star and draw a line straight up. It doesn't even have to be a perfectly straight line because it's supposed to be like string. Now with it upside down, just make two little loopies like a bow, boom. Same with this guy here. Just kind of drag your marker lightly all the way up to make a thin string. And I like to draw my bows upside down because they look better. I don't know why, they just do. And now I turn it around. And ta-da, I have two really awesome Christmas cards to give out to my friends and family. So I'm going to, um, and then you just remove this and then I'm gonna cut this in half right here. But the most important part, because you are gonna be giving this away as a gift, you need to sign it. So I have a gold marker that I like to sign my paintings with. You can sign it with anything. So over here, I'm just gonna sign it. And I'm gonna sign it. And ta-da! My Christmas cards are perfect. They are ready to go out to my friends and family. Um, I can decorate gifts with them. So it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling my tape here so I can let this set off to the side and completely dry because it is still a little, little wet because we didn't use a blow dryer this time, remember? So I'm gonna slowly peel off all my tape. I'm gonna set this to the side and then I will have, I will cut it in half like I was showing you, oops. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it in half and these are, like I said, these are gonna go to my friends and family as amazing little Christmas cards and gifts. Alrighty, you did a great job. Um, I really look forward to seeing how your ornaments and your tree turned out. Um, and let me know if you like it. Um, and hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll get one for Christmas from you. <laughs> I love you and you did a great job as always. And I can't see what you came up with. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, Aunt Summer loves you.